Hi, my name is Tara Allen. Today I would like to talk to you about portion sizing and reading labels. So I actually have some labels here that I, um, I used to actually eat these Hanover wheat, honey wheat sticks. Um, this is from 2009 actually, I still have these. Um, because I used to do a lot of different health seminars and things like that. And so I just had a different um, ruffles here. I did not eat these. I asked the girl next to me if she could give them to me. And then I have a comparison. But I also have different things here. Um, I also have two snacks here, two snacks here. And then these are actually from my kitchen that I use um, because the ingredients are so good that I'll use for like um, shrimp or something like that or it could maybe a shrimp taco or I actually put these on salmon. And um, I, b before doing this video, I actually noticed something crazy about that I never saw before. So it's just kind of making an awareness. But let's just go over, how do you read a label? What do you want to do um, when you read a label? So the first thing, um, the title, nutritional facts title. The next thing you're going to see is um, your serving size. The next thing that you're going to see, um, you're going to have information on your labels such as calories, cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrates. Sometimes they add in um, proteins, calcium, um, iron, vitamin C. Sometimes they add in different things that they may have. So you just want to go ahead and look through those things. Vitamins and, um, vitamins and minerals, and they have label numbers. Um, and then they also have the percentages, and this is something that I actually pay attention to as well. Then you'll have these side footnotes where you'll have um, little, um, like as prepared using margarine with zero trans fat and 2% reduced milk. So this has a prepared section and a non-prepared section, and so that just really depends on your ingredients. So that's like a footnote that you would have. Um, it also has your calories per gram. So this is just a little, uh, this is my instructor copy, but these are just the different areas in a label that you would find. Um, so just getting used to just taking a look at different labels is really important if you are eating foods that have labels. Um, in other videos, I recommend perimeter shopping, and I'll go over that in a sec. Well, actually, I'll go over it right now. Um, so perimeter shopping is shopping um, it's something that would be like, if I were to go to a farmer's market, what would I find? Um, fresh fruits and vegetables and getting um, like maybe a protein of some sort. So I like um, in particular like cold water fish and things like that and then fresh fruits and vegetables. And then I like um, quinoa and different grains like that. Um, lentil grains or like black bean, black bean grains. So that would be your perimeter shopping where you're just going around and avoiding any aisles that would even have labels. So I don't need to read a label. I know this is a nectarine. If I want to know how many calories, I can just Google um, how much is a medium nectarine. Um, these are all organic to reduce the amount of pesticides. There's no additives in here. These are not modified. Um, so I can look up like um, what are the what is the calorie content and the minerals and things like that found in kiwi. There's tons of potassium in kiwi and fiber and things like that. These are all fibrous. A lot of the different um, foods that have labels a lot of times don't have as much fiber um, if it's a non-grain. So these things are what you would do to perimeter shop. Now the reason I have these in my um, kitchen, these are things that I bought for the video. But these are things that I had in my kitchen because I use a lot of sauces to maybe make a stir fry or something like that if I'm being quicker, but I might marinate, you know, shrimp in here. So before I get into um, all of these other items, I'm just going to go over these two things. So when I took a really quick look at this, um, the, the, they're both the same amount. They're both the same amount. Uh, they're both eight ounces each. They're both the same brand. Um, I like it because I know exactly what, when I look at these, I'm like, oh, there's roasted onions, roasted peppers, roasted peppers, uh, other kind of peppers, key lime. I know what those things are. That's why I'm like, oh, I can eat this. Now, when I look at it and there's, there's no fat in there, um, hardly any sugar, like 2%. So I'm like, okay, I can have this in my kitchen, right? Um, when I look at it, the serving sizes, this one has eight servings and this one has four. And so that's kind of really interesting to me. 
Now, I would just want to take a look at that. It's not going to stop me from eating that, but it's just going to make me just aware that these are the same, they look the same, almost the same size, but have different serving sizes in them. So, and um, different calories. So you can go ahead, if you are somebody who is looking at uh, calorie content, it's not going to stand. You can go ahead and do that. I don't really look at, I actually don't count calories because I just eat colors, not calories. Um, that's kind of a saying that I do is eating the colors, uh, colors, not the calories. Kind of like eat the rainbow, have your antioxidants. Um, so, all right. These two snacks here, I wanted to do, um, when I first started doing, like, not videos, but maybe more seminars like this, I had these two snacks. Now, this bag looks bigger, and this one looks smaller, but if I look at the net weight, the bigger bag is 1.5 ounces, one and a half ounces, and the, this one is um, almost two and a half. So, in the smaller bag, I'm getting 50% more, of the snack. Um, they're the same price in the vending machine. If I'm getting this one, it's really full of air. It's very light. It's less dense. Um, and it actually was less more less nutritional. Now, if I'm going to go ahead and look at the, uh, so you can see a little bit more. So, more food, more food here, less food here. Um, and then when I go ahead and I look here, now this one has two servings and this one has one. So that's something where it'll equal out. So if I'm going to have, so this is one serving, this is, this is two, even though it's a smaller bag here. But um, this one has 120 calories, which you're going to times by two, so you're going to have 240. Now this one has 240 calories. So each one has the same caloric content, but this one again still has more food. Um, so I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to get more food for the same amount of calories. Now I'm going to look at the fat content. 16 grams of fat versus two and a half grams or two grams of fat. So this total bag has four grams of fat. This total bag has 16 grams of fat, exact same amount of calories, but again, I'm getting more food um, with less fat. Then I'm gonna look at trans fat. There's no trans, or, yeah, no trans fat here. There is saturated fat in here. And saturated fat is something that you would wanna avoid. Um, Let's see here, sodium. There's only 10% that I'm going to times by two because of my serving size. So that serving size is something that kind of creeps up on you, just like this creeped up on me, um, where you're gonna times that. And so the reason that I really, I really look at my sodium intake, this has eight servings, 16% in one serving. So I'm gonna take 16 times eight. And that's why this one might be a little bit dangerous if I'm looking at blood pressure or things like that. This one has four, but the sodium level is 23%, but that's still really high. But So that's the reason that you really wanna look at the serving size and then times it by something that might be high on here, like sodium. All right, so back to this one. Sodium, 20%, sodium here, 10%. So I'm actually getting less sodium in these potato chips than I am getting double here. Um, fiber. I'm getting fiber here, I'm getting 16% versus 6%. So um, you actually want more fiber in your diet, it is more uh, healthy for you. So the less, less fiber and things like that are kind of avoidable, empty calories almost. Then um, this one has a little bit of sugar. This one has zero sugars. So I need to look at that. They have a, this one has double the protein. And what your body, uh, for protein, you wanna take your weight, Divided by three, that's how much protein your body would need, roughly, so approximately. So I weigh like um, close to 140, I would divide that by three, that's how much protein my body needs. So somebody who weighs more, has more muscle mass, um, divide that by three, that's how much protein that you would need. Now, if you are an athlete or you're bodybuilding or you're trying to add um, muscle mass, then, then you would up your protein. But if you're just average, Working out, even if you work out every day, still that's average. Um, you're not like a major bodybuilder or a power lifter. You would just need to divide that by weight by three. That's how much protein that you need. Anything other than that, um, your body actually doesn't need it. It's not gonna process it and it can turn into different things. Um, so 
that's that. And then I have the different vitamins here. So I can look at, I actually kind of look at the percentages for vitamins per day. Um, and this one actually didn't have, has 0% of vitamins. So really the one thing in this snack would be, I'm getting more food for less calories and, um, well, the same amount of calories, but less fat. So, and I'm getting more fiber. So really the benefit is fiber here. And this one has a little bit of um, like vitamins, but it has a lot of fat and has um, saturated fat. So just wanted to go over that. And then just the other things. So I talked about the one things that were in my kitchen, um, but looking at these serving sizes, the sodium, if you've looked at other videos, the sodium levels in these pastas are super, super high. Um, super high. And then the sodium level here in this ramen, um, again, this one has two servings, and in just one serving, it's 66% of your um, sodium level for the day. So you're going to exceed and make your body toxic with um, salt. Whew. And then, again, you can look at the different, this one has three and a half servings, this one has three servings. So um, I picked these two because these Cheetos, again, it's the same thing. One's more dense than the other, um, but one has um, a split level. And we talked about this earlier before, where it says this is one serving, this is per bag, and the math does not, um, if you times it by the serving size three, it doesn't add up. So this is where you're like, wait, well, how much is actually in these bags? So again, you want to look at your labels, you want to look at, look at the other videos, see what these different ingredients are, or you could just Google them. Um, both of these have a lot of food additives, so there's a video on food additives and what that does to your body. Um, again, these little tiny, these are really small, a lot of people will just eat this whole thing. Um, this is three and a half servings, so you want to take all these different things and times them by three. So there's a lot of saturated fat in here. So there's almost 40% of your saturated fat, 40% of your daily intake of saturated fat. If you're a woman, you would want less. So women and men have different nutritional needs. Women would need less than a man. All right. This one has three and a half servings and has a lot of saturated fat, high cholesterol, um, a lot of sugars. This one has added sugars. So you want to take all these percentages and times them by three and a half for these two, um, these two containers here. So I just wanted to go over food labels, what to look for, um, looking at the front and not just the back. So this is why I have this taped here because a lot of times we'll only look back here and forget that little tiny um, serving size, timesing everything. Then if it does times it for you, you, you can't always trust that if the math doesn't add up. And then always make sure that you look at your net weight here um, to see what kind of density or to see how much food that you're getting. So thank you so much and um, make sure you're watching what you eat and maybe start perimeter shopping.